Hi everyone, welcome back. So I wanna talk in today's video about a color and styling service that I discovered back in May 2022 before I discovered House of Color. And this company is called Curate Your Style. I discovered them online. They do offer their services virtually worldwide, but if you are near to London, you can go into Mayfair and have your services done in person. And I have had a few services done by them. I think I've actually had everything that they have to offer. So I'm gonna talk you through what those services are, my thoughts of them, my thoughts on them rather, and also how they compare to the results that I've received from House of Colour. So Curate Your Style was founded by two sisters. And like I say, they offer their services both virtually and in person. And you can choose from having a body shape and styling session, a colour analysis session. They also offer hair as well so figuring out the best kind of tones of hair for you and also makeup guides as well so it must have been 2021 2022 then when i sort of started to really get into color analysis and determining what my season was and i've mentioned this before in previous videos when i've spoken about my experience with house of color but i find it really really difficult to take a step back from myself and really look at myself and go okay am i warm Am I cool toned? Does this colour suit me? Does this colour not suit me? I find that really, really difficult to do. I find that difficult to do with re regards to my body shape as well and what clothes suit me. So I think I must have just found Curate Your Style Online when I was searching for colour analysis content and obviously they popped up. So I had a look at their website along with their, their social media channels as well and I just really liked the feel of the company I liked their ethos I liked how the content came across as well it wasn't kind of loaded with a lot of emotion it was just basically telling you what kind of colors to go for if you are in these seasons so I, I liked that it felt like a like a safe kind of company to go for and it felt quite a comfortable fit for for me and their prices as well are really, really reasonable. I know with a lot of colour analysis sort of appointments and styling appointments that you can get with a wide range of companies, they can be quite costly. And I think that does put a lot of people off. So I liked the fact that their prices were a lot lower because they were virtual. I'm not sure how the cost compares if you go in person though. So I did like that it wasn't that expensive for me. I know this varies for everybody, but for me it wasn't that expensive to try some of their services. And with all of the services that they offer as well, they offer a gold, silver and bronze package and there are tiers of how much each of those packages cost as well. So obviously your bronze package is going to cost less than your gold package but your gold package will contain the most information. So it really depends how much information you want to have. If you just want to know your colour palette, then possibly the bronze one is the one to go for. But if you want to know much more about your colour season, for example, then going for the silver or the gold package would be a better option for you. So I like that there were differing tiers as well, depending on how much content you wanted, but also how much money you have to spend as well. So like I say, I've had a few services with them and I think I have actually had all of the services that they have to offer. So I'm going to talk you through what all of those services are. And the first one that I had with them back in May 2022 was their colour analysis service. I went for the silver package, which cost at the time, I'm not sure if it's changed now, but at the time it cost £60, but I did get it with a 20% off code. And I think that's what kind of caused me to, to buy it because I had a discount on it and you guys know that I love me a discount. So it actually came down to £48, which is really, really reasonable. And what you do, you obviously buy the package online and then you get sent an email with a link and you open up that link and then that is where you submit about three to five photos of yourself. And these photos should ideally be as natural as you can possibly make it. So no makeup, no fake tan, and in natural lighting as well. And this is where I kind of struggled a little bit because I don't really take makeup free natural selfies the only selfies that i have are when i've done my makeup and i've gone oh i quite like how my makeup looks i'll take a picture of myself so i i think i had one or two photos of me from holiday that i submitted and then the other photos i did have makeup on but they were as make as minimal a makeup as possible 
but some of those photos were when I had highlights in my hair whereas at the moment this is entirely natural so it wasn't as pared back and as natural <laughs> as as I could but you know lots of us have have, have dyed hair so we, we have to kind of make do. So I sent those photos off and within 72 hours I had an email back with my colour guide. And the colour guide you get given is a PDF download with some of the recent services that I bought from them though I think I did have to request access when I clicked on the link to open the, the PDF so just wanted to kind of highlight that that it's not just you I think you do just have to request access but yeah they send you a PDF guide that you can download and you can keep it on your phone so I have an Acrobat app on my on my phone and I have my colour guide saved in there and when my colour guide came back I was really really pleased to see that the colour season that they had assigned me to was true autumn. Now I did go for the silver guide, I can't recall at the time why I wanted the silver one, I think I must have just wanted more information than what the bronze one would give me, but I didn't feel like I needed all the information in the gold one. However, because I follow them on social media, they did put up a story on Instagram saying that you can buy the upgrade, so I thought, yeah, why not, let's do that, and buying the upgrade to the gold package only cost me a further £12, so in total it cost me £60. Is it £60? Am I getting that right? Yeah, £60 to get a gold colour analysis package and that was the price of the original silver one but like I say I got 20% off that. So the PDF you get given is really handy because it's on your phone and we've always got our phones on us the guide is then always there and it's really handy as well if you're going out shopping you can open up the guide and you can compare the colours on your colour palette <clears throat> excuse me to colours of the clothing that you're thinking about buying so it is really really handy however recently what I have done is I have actually printed off those PDF guides obviously you don't have to do that but I'm a little bit weird I like having these things to hand as well so I did print off three out of my four guides that I have and this is my true autumn colour guide. So the guide kind of shows you a little bit as to how they've come to that decision as to what colour season you are. So there's a page about hue, value and chroma. So hue is a scale from sort of cool to warm. I am right near the very edge of warm so I am really really warm. Value is about lightness and darkness, so how light your features are or how dark your features are. I am just past midway, I'm more sort of verging towards dark than I am light, but I am closer to that middle line than I am to the dark end. And then Chroma is looking at softness and brightness, and this is something in particular that I really struggled when I tried to find out my own colour analysis, because I knew I was warm, but I didn't know if I was soft or bright, but I am quite soft. On the scale of soft to bright, I'm quite close to the edge of soft, not quite as close to the edge as I am with the warm. So I overall am very warm, really quite soft, and my features have a sort of medium value to them, but I can have a bit of dark within my features, within my colours. And then you get four pages of your colour palette. So you get 80 colours, that fit within your colour palette and to compare that to House of Colour, with House of Colour you get a fan of 36 colours, however you don't just get 36 colours with House of Colour, you get so many more colours than that but these 36 are just an example really. But what I kind of quite like with the colour guide from Curate Your Style is that there are sort of a spectrum of colour so I have a spectrum of pinks that I can wear whereas with the colour fan from House of Colour I only have two pinks. I have a big spectrum of greens here that I can wear, a big spectrum of some blues as well that is interesting and on the other page I've got a big spectrum again of like oranges and yellow so there are varying tones and colours and shades of all of these colours within my palette. And then they also give you colours as well for your base colours and your accent colours, so fairly similar to what House of Colour do. House of Colour give you your wow colours and with 
Curate Your Style you get these accent colours. However, there is one colour within the Curate Your Style accent colour that I don't think that I would wear. It's called Dust Storm and it's this kind of lilac-y one here. It is muted and it does have warmth to it, but this is the kind of colour that I would tend to kind of stay away from. So I'm not convinced that I would want to wear this colour, that this colour would look good on me, but all of the other colours are are beautiful and I can see that they would suit me and then also in here as well you've got colors for metals to go for for leather for denim prints it gives you some examples of pairing two colors together pairing three colors together there's colors of like nail varnish when you tan as well and there's some information about how to use the colors as well so working together in harmony and then what to do if you want to wear colors that are outside of your color palette so the gold package is just full of information so much information in here i keep this out on my desk near me and i'm always looking at this booklet i love that i have it on my phone but i kind of do prefer having something in person that i can physically touch i can rifle through so really like that i have printed these off there are so many companies online that you can go and print pdfs on by the way i can't recall the company that i use but if i find it i will link it in the description box so i did do my color analysis appointment with curate your style before i went to house of color and you might be thinking well if you're happy with that result why do you go to house of color and it's because the photos i submitted were some with makeup and some where i didn't have my natural hair color and then because it was an online service there was a part of me thinking well i think i might get better results if i went in person and that is something that i have said in previous videos as well that if you are looking to have a color analysis appointment it is worthwhile going if you can in person to get it done because the color of photos can change and there's nothing like seeing the effects of the drapes in the flesh but actually what i think is important as well is not necessarily going in person but going with a really good company and i would highly highly recommend all of curate your style services i think they are brilliant but because i did have that niggling doubt that that thought of like oh but what if the result wasn't correct because of the photos and because it was online that's why i went with house of color but i got assigned the exact same season with house of color they don't call it true autumn they call it autumn leaf but i got the exact same results i did the other day because i was really curious and wanted to see if i was correct I did buy the bronze colour analysis package for my boyfriend because there are certain colours that he wears so if he wears like a black or a white or a grey they look really good on him and I thought I think you're a winter so I did actually end up buying him the bronze package he personally didn't care he was like oh I'll just wear whatever I want but but I care I'm into this type of thing so I wanted to know and also if I'm going to buy him clothes I want to make sure that I'm getting them in the, the best colours for him. And like I say, I thought he was a winter. I'm pretty sure he was a true winter. So I did the same thing that I did for myself. I took some pictures of him and sent them off to them. And then again, within 72 hours, they sent back the colour guide for him. Because it was the bronze package, he only had the information about the hue and then his colour palette. I don't think it contained anything else so if you're only interested in the colors to wear then probably go for the bronze but yeah they sent it back turns out i'm correct he is in fact a true winter and it was really exciting when he got his guide it was like receiving mine all over again i was just so excited to look through all, the, all of the colors compare it to my colors and it was just really interesting to see all of the different colors that he can wear and how different it is to the colors that i can wear and we're polar opposites. I am entirely warm and muted, where he, whereas he is entirely cool and bright. So really, really interesting. And also it's not just for women, men definitely do benefit from this as well. So I had my House of Colour colour analysis in December, and I've spoken about that in other videos. And I've also had my style appointment with House of Colour as well that I had in February, which I've also spoken about before as well. However, I don't feel like I got as much information as I wanted to from that style appointment. I kind of left that appointment not really knowing still the best necklines to go for, the best sort of style of trousers to go for, 
for example, I found it really useful in terms of taking into account my, my lifestyle and also my personality, but in terms of putting together an outfit and finding the right fit and style, I felt like I still didn't know how best to do that for my body. So I went back to Curate Your Style and in June this year I bought their styling guide. So I bought the gold package of the body shape styling service that they offer. So with this again you do a similar thing like what you do with the colour analysis appointment but instead of taking a makeup free selfie you take a full length body picture of yourself and it's recommended that you wear as tight fitting clothes as possible so I think I wore just a tank top tucked into some some leggings and you need to do that so they can really sort of see the full silhouette and shape of your body and I think I submitted photos where I was like facing them behind and to the side and that was so they could see like a full 360 of my body. I will say though that when I submitted, the, submitted those photos online it kept failing so I did have to email them and said you know the photos keep failing please tell me what I can do. Customer service is brilliant. I've been in touch with customer service a few times with my all of the services that I've received and they've been so quick, so helpful and also really quite generous. I'll get onto that in a moment. So excellent customer service. And they replied just sort of apologising and saying, send the send it in an email to us and we'll get it sorted for you. And they did. Again, less than 72 hours later, they sent me back details of my body shape. And I um, a soft pair. They do use that kind of sort of terminology when it comes to styling your body so they do sort of say hourglass, pair, inverted triangle, that kind of thing. And within this guide it's broken down into three sections. So there's one section on clothing sort of styles and silhouettes to avoid because they're just not going to flatter your body. There's a section on how to balance your body. So as a soft pair, it means that I am in between a pear and an hourglass shape, but I do veer more towards a pear shape, which means that my butt and my hips are the widest part of my body. And having had my styling appointment with House of Colour, I was aware that my hips were the, were the widest part of my body. So, so that's pretty similar between the two that both services kind of picked up on that. So there's an avoid part of the booklet. There is a balance part. So it's about balancing out your body so for me as a soft pair it's adding some width possibly to my upper body it's bringing the attention to my up upper body and then the third section within the booklet is about enhancing which I really really like it's not often that you come across information around sort of how to dress for your body that is about enhancing your body it's usually about diminishing the larger parts or diminishing parts that you don't quite like so the enhancing part for me is about going yeah my hips are the widest part of my body and I want to accentuate that I want to draw attention to that so I really like that with this there is no negativity in this there's no going well you're a pair so let's really hide the fact that you've got a big butt and hips there's none of that in this so it really depends I suppose on a day-to-day -day basis what you want to do if you want to enhance your body shape you have the information to do so. If you want to balance it, again, you've got the information to do so. And what I love with this is that this contains the information that I really felt was lacking from my House of Colour styling appointment. So this breaks down tops, dresses, skirts, trousers, shorts, and tells you the right styles to go for, to balance your body, to enhance your body, and to avoid. So it makes it so crystal clear what to go for and what not to go for and I really really like that. However with this because you submit photos of your body and it's just giving you a shape so soft pair it's only going to provide information about the types of clothes and the fit to go for or not to go for. It doesn't take into account your personality or your lifestyle. However I got that information from the House of Colour appointment so that's why I felt like I needed both of these sessions because I have a clothing personality from House of Colour. I know the overall aesthetic that kind of best suits me but I have the information from Curate Your Style to know the exact type of clothing to go for. So if I want to buy a pair of jeans, if I want to balance my body I would go for a high-waisted flare jean. 
simple as that. It also contains as well information about fabric, so the types of fabrics to enhance your body or to balance your body embellishments and it also as well provides some information about shopping and also celebrities that have your same body shape as well and I didn't mention they do that with the tool they do that with your colour guide as well so they have provided examples of celebrities that are true autumns as well and this is another booklet that I keep on my desk I'm always kind of flicking through it and trying to reinforce the information that is in this so I have found this incredibly helpful this was the missing piece the missing puzzle that I needed as part of my house of colour styling appointment so very very pleased with this the cost of that body service, by the way, was £95, and that's because I went for the gold version. So if you did want the silver or the bronze, obviously it will cost a little bit less than that. But for me, it cost £95. And then the third service that I bought for them, also for £95, because again, I went for the gold version. And I've gone for the gold version for all of them because I just, I wanted all the information that they could provide. So I bought the makeup guide about a month later because I follow them on social media they're always kind of posting information about makeup colours for winters or for springs, how to dress for an inverted triangle, colour palettes for celebrities and films, things like that. So their their social media channels are really, really useful. And they posted some information about makeup for the seasons and I thought let's buy the makeup guide and again sort of see how it compares to the information that I, re I received from House of Colour and I printed it off and I think it's as big as or if not bigger than the True Autumn <laughs> booklet that I got and this uh, again is just full of so much information that is incredibly useful. Now with the makeup guide I did have to submit again some makeup free natural selfies but because I now have my entirely natural hair colour I was able to take makeup free selfies just for this and I was thinking oh what if I get given a different result from last time because the photos are different but no I got given the same result again true autumn so it was nice to kind of get that confirmation and also they have about three different stylists analyzing your photos by the way so it's not just one person's opinion there are three of them that come to a joint decision and if they can't make a decision they will get back to you and say we need more photos so in this makeup booklet again it goes through your hue your chroma your, your value all of those types of things so again i am very very warm so my makeup should be very warm I can handle slightly darker colours because on the scale of light to dark I'm just past medium verging towards dark so my makeup can have some darkness in it and in terms of the contrast level between soft and bright I am towards the end of soft so my makeup needs to be quite soft no bright colours and then it gives you some information about your overall look so for me my overall look should be very very warm but it should be quite muted so it says it shouldn't have strong contrast it will be subtle blended and golden and that is very much how i like my makeup my makeup today i feel like it's quite subtle it's very golden i feel like it's blended and it's very warm so it's interesting that the information i was given is kind of how i like to wear my makeup anyway and then it goes into all of your different types of makeup so your base makeup your blusher eyeshadow eyeliner mascara lip gloss lipstick lip liner and it tells you the colors to avoid and then the colors to go for but what i like as well at that is that it gives you some examples of colors for different looks so for a very natural daytime look it will give you some color suggestions for an evening look for occasion makeup so it's good that it gives you different options to go for and then what i like as well <laughs> in this guide i said it's full of great information is that there is some combinations to kind of go for. So if I want a makeup look for the day, but I want it to be neutral, it'll give me some examples for what to go for, for my face, for my eyes, for my lips. But if I want a bit of pop, a bit of color pop for an evening makeup look, again, it gives me some color combinations. So that is a really, really interesting guide. And again, it gives me some examples of some celebrities. So if I'm a bit stuck, I can Google those celebrities and have a look at the types of makeup that they go for. And then I can try to kind of copy it, I suppose, in my day-to-day -day makeup. 
So just to compare this to House of Colour, once you've had your colour season determined in your House of Colour appointment, you then get a bit of makeup put on your face, so you get a little bit of foundation, and then they match you up to a blusher, and then you get to try out some lip options. And with House of Colour, they say lipstick is arguably your most important piece of makeup to be wearing. If you're gonna not be wearing much makeup at all, or if you're really, really pushed for time, just make sure you've got lipstick on, and then that kind of ties in together your whole look and they have a three points of red system with House of Colour so my three points of red are a warm red, a coral and a rust and that's where this differs slightly in the guide that I got from Curate Your Star because one of the lipsticks to avoid is a bright red and a lip gloss to avoid is a warm bright red and that's not necessarily because of the undertones because it's warm it's going to suit me but it's the brightness with my complexion they say that the best makeup that suits me is going to be muted it's going to be soft and it's going to be blended whereas if I was to go for a bright red lipstick despite it being warm it's too bright for my muted complexion so that is interesting and I did say when I filmed my wearing a red lipstick for seven days in a row that the red lipstick I got from House of Colour I felt was quite bright. However, lots of you loved it. That was like your favourite lipstick, so it is interesting. But a rust is mentioned in this booklet to wear, a nice muted coral as well, and then just some warm light pinks, a warm beige, and if I wanted to go a bit darker like a wine, a spiced pumpkin, a rust red. So the information is still quite similar. So earthy muted subtle blended tones is suggested in my guide so again this is another service that i loved i also have this booklet out on my desk and i look at it most days i love just flicking through it and just trying to kind of retain as much of this information as possible so another one that i i, I loved getting so the full service that i had from them was the hair guide and I think it was after they sent me my makeup guide, I think I, I think it was the makeup guide, I replied to the email just thanking them and saying, you know, I've had a couple, I've had a few services from you guys and, and the information is absolutely fantastic, like, thank you so much. I feel like it's nice to, to kind of compliment people when they do something really well, so I just I kind of wanted to let them know. And they said thank you very much for that, really appreciate that. If you haven't left us a comment on, on Google, a, a review, you know could you please and I said that I had I did that when I received my true autumn palette but I then updated it to reflect the new information that I've received and then they got back to me and said thank you very much for that as a as a big thank you here have a bronze hair guide for free so this is what I mean when I said earlier that the customer service is very generous really helpful very very friendly team so they sent me the guide about 24 hours later it didn't take as long as the, as the other kind of services that I've had but they sent me the wrong season so I replied and said oh you sent me the wrong season they apologized and as way of an apology they then sent me back a silver guide so really generous that guide is interesting it, it's it's useful to know but for me this is the least important service out of the ones that I've received and that's just because I am very very lazy with my hair, I don't do anything with it, I put it in a low plait to sleep, brush it out in the morning, bit of dry shampoo if it needs it, and that is it. This is my natural hair colour, I quite like my natural hair colour, I'm not interested in dyeing my hair, so for me the hair guide isn't really that important, it was very interesting to receive and I'm very very thankful that they sent it to me, please do not get me wrong, but because I'm I'm not really bothered about changing my hair, about dyeing it or about styling it in different ways and because I'm very lazy with my hair, like I said, the information in it I don't think I'm really going to be taking or putting into practice on a on a day to day sort of basis but if you are somebody who loves dyeing their hair, who loves trying out different different colours then this is something that I would recommend because again it goes into great depth, it's full of useful information so if you are much more into hair than you are into say makeup or, or the, the body styling for example then definitely go and check the hair guide out but for me like I say very thankful to have received it but it's not one that I would be referring back to as often as the other three. 
So I'm just curious to see how much these services in the end cost me. So my True Autumn colour analysis guide, because I spent £48 and then the £12 to get the, the gold upgrade plus the two lots of 95 for the makeup and the body styling in total that is 250 pounds and just to compare that to house of color i think my color analysis point with house of color was 240 and then my style session was i think was 360 obviously going with a virtual service like Create Your Style is a lot cheaper. So if you don't have as much money to part with to spend on an in-person session, be it with House of Colour or be it with other companies, then going for an online service like Create Your Style is a lot cheaper. And then because the information that I've received does match the information that I received for my in-person services, I've got that peace of mind knowing that the information that I've received is legit going online as well to receive sort of services like this is also a really good option for people who can't travel to an appointment in person or you don't have a consultant who lives near you so this is a good option if you just want to just send a few selfies over and get that information within a few days and without it having to cost you lots of money so overall i don't think i can say that curate your style or house of color is better than the other i i received very similar but different information from all of the services that I've received and I feel like I needed all of that information to really help me kind of move forwards with regards to my personal style and what works better for me. But if you have seen my videos where I've spoken about my experience with House of Colour, hopefully watching those and also this one has kind of made it a bit clearer as to what you're going to get in all of the services as well so if you are interested in in having a body styling service or a color analysis service then hopefully that's made it a little bit clearer as to which one might be better for you but like i say for me i'm glad that i have had both of them but overall i am really really happy with the quality of the services that I've received from Create Your Style and the communications I've had with them as well. Customer service team are fantastic, they're very quick to reply, they're very helpful, very friendly and like I say very generous as well and the quality of the information that I've been given is so useful. It's also really clear to understand as well. Lots of colour, lots of pictorial information in there as well so it's not like you're reading through loads of text so it's really easy to kind of understand the information and then like I say you don't have to do this but I did do this you do have the option as well to to print the information so you have it to hand but you do have the pdf so you can keep it on your phone and have it there to hand whenever you want to look through it. I don't think I've got a bad word to say about curate your style to be honest I, I, I think the services the quality, the information, everything is really useful. So I am very, very happy with all of the services that I have had from Curate Your Style and I would highly, highly recommend. I will leave the link to their website in the description box below. So please go and check it out if you are interested. And if you have had your services done with them, please do let me know what your thoughts are on them as well. What colour season or what body styling information did they give you and what are you assigned to? So please do let me know down below. So hope this was interesting, hope it was helpful or useful. If you did like it, please do give it a thumbs up and I will see you again soon for my next video. Bye.